Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and welcome back to the 13 Days of Slime Toy Reviews. Today we are once again jumping back to the incredible vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles lineup to take a look at one of my favorite toys from the original line, the Retro Catapult. That's right, the Retro Catapult was a cool little vehicle playset thing that the whole gimmick was about flinging ooze at your toys. Oh, so, so awesome. And every parent's nightmare. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a look at this here today. Before we jump into the fun, I've got another one of those awesome little instruction sheets. So I love showing these off when I've got them available. Uh, check out the directions over here. I love this. It says... For ooze flinging fun, place figure on C and secure with the hand on the control handle. Pull back spring powered launching arms, place a small portion of rug resistant ooze on top of the garbage can launcher and release the fling ooze. I love how they went out of their way to put rug resistant ooze. I don't know why I find that so funny, but it's hilarious because that is one thing I always remember my mom saying, don't get that stuff on the carpet, right? Nobody wants the slime on their carpets. <laughs> so here it is. This is the retro catapult. And I've got a few uh, turtle figures here that we're going to use to demonstrate this thing. But before we get into the ooze flinging fun, let's take a look at the overall design. Uh, essentially, it's just set up as a little stationary kind of weapon. we got the little tripod here that it, uh, helps it keep standing. We've got this great turtle shell design shield on the front, which is really sweet. we got the little uh, seat here, the little yellow seat. And then we've got our sweet little catapult now I love this there's a, just a sticker on here that brings out the details but it looks like a trash can now there's not actually a way to open this so you don't put the ooze inside of it you just set the ooze on top uh, but I love look at the sticker I always loved this sticker as a kid look at the things that got thrown away in this trash can you know you got some things like a milk carton and a fish bone and a dog bone and a soda can you know classic cartoon things that got thrown away but look at that is that a GI Joe Somebody threw a G.I. Joe away? I don't know. I just thought that was a really fun little nod that they obviously threw in on this Ninja Turtles figure. And then uh, on the sides, it looks like uh, some ooze leaking out of it, some flies. And uh, Stomp the Foot is, of course, spray painted on the sides. So, yes, this here is actually a Turtles weapon. I took a look at the Uzi recently. That one was for the foot to blast ooze at the Turtles. This one is the fling ooze at the foot. So I've got my uh, sewer surfing Mikey here. I don't know why I picked this one. He was just always one of my favorites as a kid. So I thought it'd be fun to use this guy. He's a great figure. Um, so let's get him sitting over here. Now, I will say this. Even as a kid, I always had a hard time getting them to hold onto the handles because they're really wide. Uh, the turtle's hands just don't really fit on there too well. So here, let's get Mikey at least in a seated position. Uh, get him trying to grip on it. You can see he doesn't get a great grip on there, but there you go. So Mikey is now sitting at the retro catapult. So Shredder, we're going to bring Shredder in. Sweet Toon Shredder. I'm missing his cloak, but you know, whatever. Toon Shredder's over here. We're going to kind of stand him uh, over here. Now, I have no idea. I can't remember how well this works. I don't know how far I'm going to fling this. I'm not sure how good my aim's going to be. So this might take some trial and error. I might make a huge mess. I don't know, but let's give it a shot. I'm going to bring in some of my trusty uh, Mattel slime because... Uh, it's the best stuff I've got right now. I Obviously, I don't have any uh, vintage turtle ooze. Uh, so we'll see how well this does. I don't know. Maybe it's a little too sticky. It might stick to the top. But let's uh, let's try it. And if, if this doesn't work, I've got other options. So with our catapult, you can see you just fling it back and let it go and it flies. Kind of hits the turtle a little bit. I always remember him kind of getting in the way. You can see it kind of goes over his head. But look at that. That works pretty good. So basically, this is all we got to do. We got to lower this down. We're going to set our slime on top. We don't need much, just a little glob of it. Ah, you can see it's already sticking to my fingers. Okay, so we got a little glob of slime. It's sitting on top. All right, are you guys ready for this? Are we ready? I got to fling this before. It Maybe I got too much. It's just all falling off the top. Okay, all right, here we go. Oh, no, it's not working. 
<laughs> it's just sticking. Okay, we're gonna try some different slime because I think this is one of those rare cases where the Mattel slime is not what we need because it's a little too sticky and runny for this. We need something that globs a little bit better. So hang tight, let me grab some better slime for us. All right, maybe this is one of those times where turtle slime is the perfect thing to use. Uh, if you haven't already seen my video, this is some knockoff Ninja Turtle slime that's I actually picked up at Target recently, uh, within the last year or so. But it's uh, it's got a much thicker substance. This will probably work a lot better for the purpose of flinging like a weapon. You can see it's not quite as sticky and runny. So there we go. We got a little chunk of turtle slime. That seems appropriate, right? All right, here we go. Let's try this again. Tilt our catapult back. Ah! There we go. Add our little glob to the top. Okay, ready? Aim! Fire! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it just doesn't seem like it's got quite enough force. Here we go. <laughs> go! <laughs> and that time it just fell right off. It just kind of flings it forward. Maybe maybe it's just a little wore out, you know, from over the years. I don't know. Maybe it was never quite strong enough to fling it. I don't remember. I know I had this as a kid, but I honestly can't remember if I had this problem. There we go. I love that this slime just totally bounces off of them, too. So I guess that's just the trick. Like, like you want the sl really slimy stuff, like the Mattel slime, to, like, actually stick to them and look awesome and slimy. But the problem is, is it sticks to the catapult. This stuff flies off but it just bounces off when it actually hits our target. <laughs> if it even goes that far. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do this again. We're gonna try this again. Are you ready? Here we go. Let's, let's, this is a good one, come on. Or not. I can't even keep this stuff on. There we go. It just kind of bounces off of them. It's like, bleh. That's all it does. It doesn't even stick to them. Because this stuff is, uh, it's just, you know, way thicker than the other stuff. It doesn't really ooze very good. We want it to, like, splat them. That would be amazing. If we can actually get this thing to fly off the catapult and splat them in the face, that would be wonderful. But it just doesn't quite work out that way. You know, I, st I remember having a lot of fun with this as a kid. I remember always loving it. I think I actually played with it more without the slime because I didn't get a whole lot of the slime when I was a kid. Like, I got the stuff that came with it. Oh, there we go. That worked that time. And, I, you know, I, I remember picking up some of the cans of mutagen from time to time at the stores, but I didn't have a lot of the slime. So most of the time I just played with it and just pretended. But, you know, it's still a fun-looking toy. Still really cool. Maybe a brand new one would work a little bit better. It might fling better. But that right there looks like about the best we're going to get out of this guy. Let's see if we can get one more good one for the road. <laughs> there we go. All right, guys. Well, hey, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video, regardless of the fact that it's not necessarily the uh, most slimy of the slime toys, but, you know, still a fun Turtles toy. Always love looking at the vintage Ninja Turtle stuff, so I hope you guys enjoyed this as well. If you did, don't forget to that, that, hit that like button, uh, hit that subscribe button, stay tuned for more slime videos, and until next time... Foolish mortals, it is I, Phantom Dan. I hope you enjoyed this video. Was it a scream? Then be sure to hit that like button. And if you are dying for more slime videos, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>